Shalom Aleichem everybody. I hope everything is going well. Today I want to talk about an important concept. It's about the idea of making learning Torah exciting and enjoyable and fun. Because Hashem created us to live this world with energy, with passion. Not to be robotic, not to be sad, not to be sorry for ourselves. He wants us to really connect to the infinite light that's running, that's, that's behind, that's under the, the, the layer of everything we see. How do we do that? Through learning Torah. But, how do, but, you, but you could ask, how do we get excited about learning Torah? So I want to explain. We have an animal soul and we have a, and we have a godly soul. And a lot of the time, the animal soul desires something and the godly soul desires something that's opposing to that. You know, we, we know when our neshama knows that we have to do the right thing. We have to do what Hashem wants us to do. But sometimes our body just wants pleasure and wants pleasure that is against the Torah. But what if we could actually reach a place where our body also desires Torah and our only pleasure is doing Hashem's will? Wouldn't that be a... Like paradise, doing what's right is what feels great. There'd be nothing to, to be upset about. There'd be no emptiness anymore. Well, the way to do that is actually by learning the inner parts of the Torah, the pnimut of the Torah, chasidut, kabbalah, mystical teachings, because that is the soul of Torah. That is the fire of Torah. That is what actually allows you to get, derive inspiration, derive energy that you can channel towards learning Torah and doing mitzvahs. So this is not something that's going to happen overnight. Or maybe you're going to have moments of ups and moments of downs. It's not something that is happens like that. And it's something that takes a long time of work. And it's something that always needs work and always needs watering and, and, and care and maintenance. And of course, most of all, you have to pray to Hashem and ask Him that He has mercy on you and gives you this ability to derive pleasure from doing His will. Um, so, as you know, we have the body, the bodily soul is in the heart. The nefesh abamit is mostly in the heart. And it spreads throughout the body. And the, ne the neshama is mostly in the mind, in the brain. And what happens is, a lot of times, our, our, our nefesh bamit our animal soul will have a desire and the desire will go up to the mind and then the mind will start thinking about this desire, whatever the desire may be. Maybe it's sometimes if we will get a desire of jealousy and then we'll start thinking about why we're jealous and we're giving us all these reasons why we're jealous. But basically it's the animal soul deceiving the neshama. It's the emotions deceiving the intellect and trying to get the intellect to work for it. But that's the exact opposite of what Hashem wants from us. We could flip the switch and do things the other way around. And that's the ultimate will of Hashem. That is how we transform our body into a vessel, into a partner of our soul. And that is when we lead with our intellect and our will. What is will? Will is when something is even greater than intellect. When you know something is right, when you know something is incredible, it's beyond intellect. An example of this is a mother loves her child not because of some type of intellect, not because of some type of logical reason. It's something that is far greater. It's something that is much, cannot even be brought down to intellect. It's so much higher. So we have to take our, our will. We know, we don't just need intelligence. We know that Hashem loves us. We know that we're real. We know that we are on a mission. We know that we're only real because Hashem allows us, gives us life and revives us every morning. And we have the intelligence to realize it as well. It also goes into our intelligence. We could recognize all the beautiful, incredible things that Hashem does for us and all the, the wisdom in the Torah and all the opportunities we have in front of us. And we take that and then control our heart. And then we're able to derive pleasure, excitement, emotions from our neshama rather than our emotions deceiving us and taking us to places we would never go. In reality, we'd never really want to go. Our neshama would really never want to go there. 
we flip the switch. And now we take the heart with the neshama. And then, not only does it subdue the, the animal soul, no, even greater, it allows the animal soul, it allows your emotions to be a partner with your intellect. And then when you get excited about the Torah you're learning, it's a meditation. You know you got to keep trying to use your intellect, drawing it down to your heart and trying to think about all the reasons why you should be happy to serve Hashem. And even more so, I don't even need a reason. It's, some, it's a joy that's above reason. It's a joy that's from my inner will. And it's something that works. And you're going to notice you're, you're going to feel much calmer. Your heart is actually going to feel calm because your animal soul wants to be controlled by the neshama. Your, animal, your, your emotions want to be controlled by the intellect. It's just when you don't do it, then they, take the, then they take the driver's seat and it's a disaster. So yes, so once you start to enjoy the Torah you're learning, once you start to enjoy all these beautiful concepts, it actually adds to the intellect and will. And when you have excitement about the Torah you're learning, it adds spices and flavor for the Torah. And you actually understand it way better because of this in emotions. When, it, when the Torah you learn goes down to your emotions, it, you really internalize it and it becomes one with you. When you internalize it, it's real. It's something that can never be taken away from you. And this is our mission. This is the whole mission of man. If you're a Noahide, a righteous Gentile, you also have to fulfill the seven laws of Noah with excitement and passion. And this also, you also can meditate on the fact that Hashem, that the Creator is giving you life and he desires that you've been sent, that to send you on this mission. And by you keeping the seven laws of Noah, you are drawing down Hashem's infinite light into the world. And you are paving the way to the, towards the redemption. You, you are earning your spot in the redemption. You are a needed part of the redemption. And then when a Noahide does this as well, you should also think about this and allow your emotions to be excited as well. And when, once you start getting excited, your mission you start to understand your mission to a much greater extent. I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you guys. With Hashem's help, we should all get excited about our mission with happiness, confidence, and peace. Thank you so much. May Hashem bless you in every single thing you do.